Chinese surgeons have successfully performed a head transplant on a monkey. Nick, what the hell are you talking about? They literally removed the monkey's head and put it on another monkey's body. Researchers say the monkey survived the procedure without any neurological damage, and that's the most important part. The surgery was led by Xiaoping Ren at Harbin Medical University in China. Mark. I, I'm sorry, this Go is ahead. extremely what? disturbing already. Oh, it's disgusting. But yeah. it's really interesting at the same time. Um, this claim has been made by Italian neurosurgeon Sergio Canovero. We've talked about him a lot. He's been dubbed like the Frankenstein surgeon who plans one year's time to be the first surgeon to perform this operation on humans. And he already has his patient who's named Valery Spiridonov who has a genetic muscle wasting disease and he has said that he wants to be the first person to undergo this surgery. So they've kind of become a team. They put out this video just yesterday which I watched. Um, it was kind of this, uh, it was like a press release. They were in a Skype interview, the two of them, and Conovaro basically explained how his researchers in China who are working with alongside um, Mr. Conovaro have successfully done this with a monkey and also South Korean researchers have done the same thing with a mouse. Too. Right. Uh, to be clear, on yeah. this monkey head transplant, it did not involve attaching the spinal cord. That's it, true. It only involved attaching the, the blood vessels or the, blood the vessels. arteries. Right. To make sure that that monkey survived because... Sergio Canovaro has been getting a lot of heat from a lot of people. I can't even deal with looking at right, that. Right, that's the image of the actual monkey that was sent over by the Chinese researchers. Don't look at it, look somewhere else. Okay, so check this out. What they did was, they purposely did not try to connect the, uh, the spinal cord. They only did it to make sure, to prove the point, because Canovaro's been getting heat. People are saying that he couldn't do this. He had his researchers actually connect the brain and all the vessels to another body so that they can determine that the, the brain will not suffer any brain damage after being disconnected from the body. They put it in very cold temperatures and then reattached it. The monkey survived for 20 hours and then they put it down because like Mark mentioned, they didn't connect the actual spinal cord because that would be a completely different thing. They're just trying to prove this one part. Okay, so I'm gonna try to move right past like, my, <laughs> like how disturbed I am that sure. this was done to a primate who has a consciousness, you know, right. that bothers me a lot. That's terrible. Um, now, if they do this to a human being, um, how, how can he predict that he's gonna be able to attach the, the spinal cord? What's the point of uh, putting a head on a different body if you can't attach the spinal right. cord? This, this surgery is gonna take place next year, and I guess he's kind of saying, well, this is probably why he gets you know, a lot of heat from other doctors. He's basically saying, well, I hope we'll have our shit together by then. <laughs> because for now, they were able to connect the spinal cord, and this is, this is, this, this is part two now, that he had a, another announcement to make that South Koreans were successfully able to connect not only the blood vessels, uh, but the whole head and the spinal cord on a mouse. And then there's a video of a mouse, if you guys want to check it out online, this mouse like crawling around and walking with so, like a clear suture. All right, I neck. asked the question then, uh, if they're able to do that, yeah. then why aren't they able to do that to people who have damaged their, uh, their spinal cords and been paralyzed? Because a lot of the time, um, if someone is paralyzed from an injury, for example, there is a break in the spinal cord, or spinal tissue, for example, but this surgery involves making a very clean cut. And he says, if you can make that very clean cut, then it's kind of just like removing it and then you clean, make the clean cut on the other side and you just kind of plug them back in. It's not severed like in numerous places or bent and stuff. It's just perfectly cut Ooh, with a saw. I don't even want to imagine that. <laughs> so there you go. Any more questions, Mark? Uh, no, no more questions. I'm really disturbed about the idea of this being done to a monkey. Yeah, it's messed up. I mean, a mouse too. Yes, of right? course. Just because yes, they're a little course. smarter doesn't, doesn't mean it's less gross or mean. If they're able to figure out how, how to do this to 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 save uh, somebody from being paralyzed or, or to save their mm -hmm. life, it's actually a great feat, but that's a big step. Well, yeah, and we have to realize, we gotta you know, take it step by step and realize this is the beginning and every little step actually is a big deal and could have huge repercussions in the future. I mean, look, this, this, whole, this whole experimentation could lead us to learning a lot more about the spinal cord and how, it, you know, how all our muscles talk to the brain. And then that could, for example, help us so that in the future we don't have to do this kind of things. We could actually help people who are paralyzed without switching out their entire bodies. Like, we're, we're in the beginning stages of this. And he's, this guy's getting a lot of heat because a lot of researchers are saying, hey, you're getting people all worked up and you still don't have, you know, you don't have the proper uh, proof out there. But he's saying, no, I'm doing this next year. This is going to happen. And he seems to be all...
gung-ho about it, which is why people are calling him the Frankenstein surgeon. Rightfully so, too. Well, here we have it. So far, we know it has been proved by researchers in South Korea and China that this, this surgery actually might be possible by 2017.